They are scenes few would associate with Japan's highest peak, human traffic jams, foothills littered with garbage and inappropriately attired hikers, some attempting the ascent in sandals. But these sites are all too familiar for Miho Sakurai, a veteran ranger who has patrolled the slopes of Mount Fuji for the past seven years. There are definitely too many people on the mountain at the moment, the numbers are much higher than before, Sakurai laments. When Mount Fuji was added to the list of UNESCO World Heritage Sites in 2013, the International Council on Monuments and Sites, ICOMOS, UNESCO's advisory organ, urged mountain officials to manage the crowds. However, the number of visitors to the mountain's popular fifth hiking station has more than doubled from 2 million in 2012 to over 5 million visitors in 2019, according to the Yamanashi Prefectural Government. Experts say the mountaineering experience at Mount Fuji is in sharp decline because of the crowds. Courtesy Yamanashi Prefectural Government And since the annual climbing season opened just a couple of months ago in July, around 65,000 hikers have reached the summit, an increase of 17% from 2019. Officials say a post-COVID tourism boom has brought thousands more to the mountain, which straddles Japan's Yamanashi and Shizuoka prefectures. And as Mount Fuji marks the 10th anniversary of its UNESCO designation this year, they fear the environmental situation has reached a critical point. Over tourism, and all the subsequent consequences like rubbish, rising CO2 emissions and reckless hikers, is the biggest problem facing Mount Fuji, says Masatake Izumi, a Yamanashi prefectural government official and expert on the famed peak. Yasuyoshi Okada, the president of ICOMOS Japan, told CNN Travel in an email that, to preserve the sacredness of Mount Fuji and its value as a World Heritage Site, over-tourism must be addressed. Crowds of tourists make their way to the summit of Mount Fuji to watch the sunrise. Courtesy Yamanashi Prefectural Government Of Mount Fuji's 10 hiking stations, the fifth, called Gogoma, is located roughly halfway up the 3,776-meter, 12,388-foot, mountain. It receives 90% of the mountain's visitors, most whom take buses, taxis and F cars from Tokyo along the Fuji Subaru Line mountain road, says Izumi. Built almost 60 years ago amid Japan's era of motorization, the Fuji Subaru line gave visitors and families direct access to a point halfway up the mountain. It allowed people across the country to experience Mount Fuji, says Izumi. Nowadays, when hikers head to the fifth station from Tokyo on that line, they'll hear a folk song play briefly as their vehicle passes a set of sensors on the road. Written by Sazana Givaya in 1911, Fuji no Yama, or, the Mountain of Fuji, celebrates the popular tourist destination. The lyrics highlight Mount Fuji's grandeur, calling it, Japan's greatest mountain, as it, pokes its head above the clouds, while, clad in a kimono of snow. Of Mount Fuji's ten hiking stations, the fifth, called, Gogoma, receives 90% of the mountain's visitors. Courtesy Yamanashi Prefectural G. These lyrics are a stark contrast to the reality on the ground, with experts saying the mountaineering experience at Mount Fuji is in sharp decline because of the crowds. Izumi, the Yamanashi official, says visitors can no longer take private cars up to the fifth station unless they are fully electric, but that has resulted in more buses ferrying large groups of visitors to the station. The hordes of hikers are also putting the mountain's limited toilet facilities and four medical stations under increasing pressure, he adds. At the busy fifth station, as busloads of hikers swarm toward the Yoshida Trail, the most popular of the mountain's four routes, 
Tomoyo Takahashi, a Mount Fuji Conservation Fund employee, urges them to donate 1,000 yen, $7, to keep the mountain clean. It's like Disneyland here as there are too many people, she tells CNN Travel. Not everyone pays the 1,000 yen, and it makes me sad. There should be a mandatory entrance fee that's much much higher so only visitors who truly appreciate Mount Fuji's heritage come. The mountaineering experience is particularly in decline for more seasoned hikers, according to Kiyotatsu Yamamoto, a national parks and Mount Fuji specialist at the University of Tokyo. Officials say a post-COVID tourism boom has brought thousands of additional tourists to the mountain this year. Courtesy Yamanashi Prefectural Government Congestion and traffic jams on the mountain trails are a major source of dissatisfaction among climbers, as hikers who want to see the sunrise all amass near the summit, and it takes them four hours to climb a section that used to be climbed in two hours, he says. Vito Fung Yu Ting, a hiker from Hong Kong, says he booked a night in a mountain lodge at least three months before visiting Fuji. I was so lucky to get a place, he tells CNN Travel after returning from Mount Fuji's summit. I knew the top would be super crowded as I watched a few YouTube videos before I came, but it was still worth it. But not everyone plans well in advance. The risk of altitude sickness and hypothermia, for instance, has increased because of a trend called bullet climbing, in which hikers begin their ascent at night, pushing on until dawn, without staying in a mountain lodge to acclimatize their bodies to the air pressure, says Sakurai, the Mount Fuji ranger. Yamamoto adds that some inexperienced hikers even sleep in the washrooms to keep warm, throw away climbing gear on the trail or camp in prohibited zones. Over the years, countermeasures have been taken to protect Mount Fuji. For instance, volunteers from the Fujishin Club, a non-profit organization dedicated to conserving Mount Fuji, have carried out 992 cleanup activities at the foothills of the peak, with 74,215 participants collecting 850 tons of garbage between 2004 and 2018. Last year, the group started carrying out garbage patrols with electric bikes equipped with cameras that capture GPS data and create maps that chart the types and quantities of rubbish in an area. This is the world's first attempt at garbage patrol using e-bikes and AI. Nani Tatsuo, a volunteer at the Fujishin Club, tells CNN. The 2023 Mount Fuji climbing season ended on September 10. Kyodo News, Getty Images To improve the visitor experience, officials capped the number of climbers to 4,000 per day for the popular Yoshida Trail, says Yamamoto the National Park Specialist. However, in practice, sticking to this target is a challenging feat. Unlike in the US, National Parks and World Heritage Sites in Japan do not have gates keeping visitors out. Blocking roads to hikers requires laws and local government bylaws, meaning progress on this front is slow, he says. Yamamoto has proposed establishing a system whereby only visitors who had booked a parking space or climbers who had made bookings at one of the nine lodges gain permission to hike Mount Fuji. Meanwhile, Izumi says the local government wants to radically change how people access the mountain. Possible options include building a light rail transit system on top of the Fuji Subaru Line Road, 
preventing cars and buses from traveling along its path to the fifth station. Izumi feels crowd control will be easier when people have to buy train tickets and the local government sets departure and arrival times. He has also proposed organizing lectures on the trains, in which people learn about Mount Fuji and how to climb the mountain correctly. Fuji San is screaming out in pain. We can't just wait for him.